let's begin so uh, the data source has been shared with you both in the zoom chat as well as in the youtube uh, chat so you can pick the data source for today from there and this is our data okay so first thing that i will do i think is simply increase the font so that it's visible to all of you clearly then we can just highlight the columns like that from the top and double click anywhere between the two alphabets between two columns over here so all of them will get spaced out properly then see this here area code is a numerical value so it is better that we go ahead and assign the data type as a number date it holds the date it is basically the first day of the month uh, kind of thing so we can go and assign an appropriate data type as date you might not see any visible difference over here but later on when we are dealing with date functions or when we are uh, working with dates specifically if you have not already assigned a date data type you might get into some trouble so it's better to do this now area code i'm going to reduce the decimals because this is area code, which is basically um, the three digit telephone area code in the US. So it will not have decimals. Okay, so I remove the decimals. Date, if we format it as long date, we can see the complete date. I will keep it as short date. All this is basically text information. So we can go and assign the data type as text. So these are basic data cleaning techniques that we are talking about. Okay. Uh, because as a data analyst, of course, you would be analyzing the data, but you might even have to do such cleaning sometimes. And these columns are dealing with money, currency. So we will assign the data type as currency. And then you can also go ahead to this accounting symbol and give an appropriate currency symbol over there. Okay. And I will not use any decimals for this. We don't have decimals in this data. So let me reduce that to zero. Okay, our data is very nicely formatted over here. Now, this is one aspect. Okay, basic thing that we generally do, assign proper, correct, appropriate data types. Now, let us say there are a few blank rows in our data. I'm inserting a few blank rows in here. Okay, supposing like that, let's say there are a lot of blank rows across the data, across many places. Okay. Uh, in our data, we have blank rows, okay? Now, this is very big data. If you notice, we have nearly 4,000 odd records, okay? We have more than 4,000 rows. So, in all of these 4,000 rows, let's say we have a lot of blank rows. All right. Now, how do we delete all the blank rows in one go? We shall see that. And also, let's say there is some duplicate data. I'll just copy this and insert the copy cells. I'm just duplicating the data to give you a demonstration. So let me copy the whole row. Again, I will right click on this and there's an option to insert the copy cells. Okay, so some records are, are there which are basically duplicates. Now, how to focus or target the blanks and get rid of them as a part of our data cleaning and how to find out duplicates and remove the duplicates okay let's focus on identifying the blanks if it if there are a few rows and if there is small data that you are working with you can go to each row right click on it and very well delete it but if you have big data and uh, if there are multiple such blank rows to search for it and then to delete it would become a tedious process so how do we automate this is we can go to the find and select option on the home ribbon. Find and select up here on the home ribbon. And there is an option called as go to special. The fourth option down there. Okay, when you select it, you can click on blanks. All right. So once I click on blanks and click on OK, in the entire sheet, it will highlight all those rows which are blank. Now that they are highlighted, they are selected, I just need to go and remove them, delete them. So in the home ribbon that we are on, right, home ribbon itself, here we have one group to insert, delete or format the rows. Okay, so our purpose here is to delete. So I'll go here to delete and I'm going to select the option delete sheet rows. 
So all the rows which are now highlighted, the blank ones will get deleted. Okay, it is that simple. Now we need to identify or check for duplicates and remove the duplicates. So when would we call something a duplicate is if the whole row is replicated. Suppose over here, duplicate meaning if the complete data in that row as is appears in another row, the whole thing gets repeated. That is considered a duplicate. Suppose I want to avoid such things. Okay, then we have to go to the data ribbon. And we will go down here from where we create the validation list, right? We saw the flash fill option yesterday. Below the flash fill option is one icon that is for removing the duplicates. Okay, so once I click on it, I had purposely in, in, included two duplicates over here, 325 area code and 754 over here, okay? The whole row I had uh, duplicated. So there are two duplicates. Now it's... And my column has headers. So you need to remember to keep this selected. My column had uh, my list of, or my data has headers here. And when is it considered to be a duplicate? When the entire data, when all the whole of the thing is replicated, the whole row means data present in the area code, date, product, product line, product type, everything is repeated. That then the whole thing. Okay, so I'll keep everything selected and click on OK. So you can see two duplicate values found and removed. It's telling us that it has removed two duplicates. You can see 325, the other one is gone and uh, some, somewhere down here, 754, right? The other one is gone. So like this, you might think that we are looking at a role of a data analyst. Why are we doing data cleaning? Is it the data engineer supposed to take care of such things? Yes, but to a large extent, sometimes even a data analyst will have to get involved in such things. So to know how even data cleaning things, it would be very good. Basic data cleaning techniques you should be familiar with as a data analyst, okay? So this is my data and I'm happy with it. Now, what is our agenda? Formatting data, uh, okay? Now let's convert it into a table. All right, this is right now a range of values that we have, which are organized as columns and rows, but th this is not essentially a table. Okay, this is not essentially a table. We'll convert it into a table. So how to convert it into a table is command T, control plus T. Now this it's, you can see the line, the margin running around the whole data. Okay, the whole, the entire data is selected. You see this whole thing. If you want, you can even manually select it, but here Tableau, uh, Excel has automatically selected it and our table has headers, so I'll just click on OK. Table ribbon has come. Because this is a table, table ribbon has come. If you don't like this format, you can even go for a different format or different way of representing the data. Here you can choose from a variety of designs which are available. Then yesterday we talked about header row, total row, okay? banded rows, banded columns, all these we had discussed. Now, it is always good to give a name to the table. So I'll call this coffee chain data. Okay, coffee chain data. And how do we know? One other way in which you can identify whether this is a table or not is generally if it's a table, there will be a drop down icon against the name of every field, which acts like a filter. All right, and we can go ahead and sort the data in ascending or descending order. We can also filter the data using this option. So let's look at that. Here is um, product, okay? So if I go here, by clicking on this button, data gets sorted in increasing order, alphabetical order, increasing order. So you can see it starting with A, okay? We Then C, then Cafe Mocha so on and so forth. So it is basically an alphabetical order. Okay, that's big, really big data. Or we can do it in the reverse alphabetical order by going here. All right. Then if there are certain products that for which we might not want to see the data, we can remove it by using the filters. Simple select and deselect options. So if I uncheck uh, this product, it's gone. If I uncheck latte, it's gone. If I uncheck mocha, it's gone. You see? 
something that might not be necessary can be removed simply by deselecting the option. And if you want it, you can select it and it will come back. Okay, so we can filter the data in such an easy manner. We can also go ahead and sort the data in different formats.